Air signs, this is going to be a video for you to kind of understand for air signs energy and what you're dealing with, with both fire, earth, water, and even other air signs. So I'm going to start off today with these cards, and this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what I'm going to tell you is these cards are going to give you a message or the answer to why are they not returning? Why are they not returning? The first card that comes up for you is, in fact, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, talks about leaving a legacy. They walked away from something that for them may have been scary, may have been uncomfortable, may have been misleading. It may have been even that they just weren't 100% sure. For some of you, fear is why people run. It's a fight or flight kind of thing. Same thing that goes with your anxiety air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You deal a lot with panic attacks or anxiety. Some of you, it's muscle spasms. Some of you, it's stomach pain. Some of you, it's the fibromyalgia. That's all part of dealing with fear in your life. Now, as we talk about the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles also can be money may have been an issue why somebody had to pull away or why they decided to walk in another direction or why they turned their back even on you. For some of them, they could not admit that they were not able to handle the pressure that was being put on them in a certain kind of way. And it doesn't mean you put on pressure, but the situation itself, the responsibility itself. For a lot of air signs, this card can also talk about retiring from something. And retiring doesn't have to mean you're 65 and, and you're done working. Retiring can mean I'm retiring from the situation. You know, it's kind of like I, I need a break. Somebody's looking for a way out, even if it's temporarily. Somebody's wanting to find out the truth in a situation. The next card that comes up for you, and I'm going to leave this here so you can see it. The next card that comes up for you is, in fact, the Page of Cups. With the Page of Cups, this can be your creative ideas. You wanting to come up with an answer. You wanting a fresh start. You cleaning off <clears throat> so-called um, memory board. Are you cleaning off your focus board? Or are you cleaning off your uh, dreams board? You know what I'm talking about. So this can be you wanting a fresh start. Clearing the canvas. Creating a whole new scenario. This is you coming up with an idea, air signs. That's going to have you feel a lot different about a situation. It's also going to make you realize your power that you were holding back. Things that you weren't expressing out. Things maybe you couldn't say or you didn't want to say. This also could be about a situation where love and desire, they're, they're left more behind than love and desire is showing that, you know, there was much more that could have came about. But things weren't handled in such the romantic kind of way. They never truly gave you exactly what you thought was coming with this card. Now, what I will say is you still are able to create what you want to create. Now, the Eight of Wands comes up next. With the Eight of Wands, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this could be interesting. Because I feel like with the Eight of Wands, there's something quick coming. It's a talking about an action. Because something's moving, constantly moving. Energy is always moving. There's quick changes here. Something's going to get better. Whatever's happening fast with this action, it's changing for the better. Now, as it's changing, 
as it's moving still, until it becomes still, but as it's moving, until it becomes still, it's going to feel like an upheaval. It's going to feel like it's undecided, not balanced. It may tilt a little bit. But what this is talking about, your Eight of Wands could be something new arriving. There's new information. There's a new person. Or there's a new way that they're going to present themselves to you. Air signs, what this is saying is that once they come and they bring themselves to you, once they come in this new way, in this new way to deal with you, this new way to talk to you, this new way to love you, you're going to be able to create, you're going to be able to create exactly what you want to be able to get out of this situation. Now remember, wanting that family, wanting this relationship, wanting the desire is all you've ever wanted. Things that you've done before, the energy that you created kept moving and moving. It never quite landed. Therefore, you're led to continue to... You're led to continue to create what it is that you want out of the energy that is coming. There is going to be support for you because we have the Six of Pentacles. There is going to be support for you. With this support, it's going to talk about giving and receiving. So you will both give to something and both receive. You will help out, they will help out. You will receive, they will receive. There will be a balance that's coming for you both. This is looking very positive in such a way, especially because of the Six of Pentacles. For some of you, it's somebody that's going to be very generous to you. Somebody's going to offer to help you out. Somebody's going to give you ideas. Somebody who has wisdom. Somebody who may be a little older than you. Somebody who's already been through so much. Somebody who's been guided by a very special person. This card talks about, too, where you're coming together. You're going to get back acclimated to the family, so to speak. Or you're going to be in, introduced to their family. Somebody's tired of these games. Somebody's tired of things always being up in the air and never settling. Somebody's going to want to get a foundation built here. Oh, yeah. Then you have the Three of Cups that shows. With the Three of Cups, oh, shoot. With the Three of Cups, your friendship builds or turns into a love relationship. With the Three of Cups, this can also talk about a celebration. Finally, because things are no longer up in the air. Energy is no longer swirling and moving and moving. It's starting to come to a standstill, which is a good thing. It's settling. Somebody's getting comfortable. For some of you with this particular card, <clears throat> the Three of Cups, you have a circle of support, so use it. You have people who are willing to invest in you. They're willing to encourage you. They're willing to support you. They're willing to do anything they can to help you to get over your fears. Because this moon talks about celebrating that there's no more things in the background. There's no more things hidden there's no more fears here. Everything is being brought out in the open, which is why the stars are above. A lot of you also have the temperance card. And the temperance card is really good for you guys because temperance talks about you wanting to get the balance that you need. It's also talking about needing the harmony, having self-control. And it's talking about doing things in moderation. Not rushing the process. Don't rush. There's no need to go fast. You already had the energy swirling like crazy. Moving, moving, moving. While you thought nothing was being done, behind the scenes, there's a lot of work going on. For now, moderation will be the key. Harmony, balance is all here. 
Everything you've been manifesting is coming. The reason the hat is always pointy and pointing up is because it's pointing up to the universe where that energy is coming down through you. You're going to be able to feel something new, intricate details. You're going to feel vibrations. You're going to feel goosebumps. You're going to feel so much energy and so inspired. And this happiness is going to rise up above you. For some of you, I'm trying to pull the blindfold off of you, so to speak, with the Justice card. With the Justice card, this can definitely be a win-win for you. Solutions come very clearly. There's a cause and effect here. There's definitely you not really wanting to see. You're not really wanting to see what's going on. You're, you're afraid to really look. But you are curious. You're curious. Some of you may feel like, well, I don't really know if I want to bother with them. I don't know if I really want to talk to them. But there's a part of you that's very curious. Or there's a part of your partner who's extremely curious as to see what's really happening. Where are they now? What is my partner doing without me? Why did I let it go so long? Why did it take so long to come to this balance? To get this evenness, this justice? Now justice will be served in a very positive way for many of you. But for many of you, be careful because I am dealing with some of you who don't want to see the help that's being led to you. Who don't even want to consider another option. Who doesn't even want to look at another chance or an opportunity with this person. For some of you, you're completely exhausted from something. You've about had enough here. For some of you, you're still focused from that exhaustion on everything that you lost in a situation. There's no doubt. You're worried about what you lost. Could have been with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I do feel like air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that, listen, it's only a matter of time before you're going to turn around and realize that I still have two cups left, just enough. One for me, one for him. There's still plenty of wine left in this bottle to pour out the love into these cups to once again be able to build a very strong foundation, perhaps even have children, perhaps even have the family grow bigger and bigger. For some of you, Due to that tower moment that you struggled with. That tower moment was a blessing in disguise. The reason I say that is because with the tower. With the tower. It was unwanted. Something that occurred. Something that happened. A way they approached you was totally unwanted. Something you wanted to change. For some of you, you ran like hell. You, you literally took your shit and ran. For some of you, something was a disgrace. Something made you very ill or sick to your stomach. You got fed up with something. For some of you, you just up and left. Or for some of you, your partner up and left. But after that situation happened, after your partner had to leave, was forced to leave, made to leave, or told to leave, whichever way it went, or chose to leave. You took the time. You took the time with the four of swords. You took the time to lay down, to rest, to manifest. You kind of decided to renew yourself, get your strength back, refresh, get refreshed. For some of you, you needed this solitude. You needed this peacefulness. For some of you, you are recovering. Either from an illness, from a surgery, or from a heartbreak. True. For some of you, it could have been four months by now. For some of you, it could have been off and on. Could have been off and on. For some of you, you're still wondering... What is the universe offering me? Because the point of the hat comes down. So you're not sure what the universe is trying to bring you. 
For some of you, you still have doubts in something. You're still trying to repair. You're still healing at this moment. But it's okay. Because as the Hierophant card shows up, which makes sense, healing is in progress. At the same time, at the same time, the balance that belongs here, that you're looking for, that you're stressing over, or that you're wanting so badly, this is traditions for you. It's all about traditions, the way it's supposed to be. They weren't supposed to act like this, or we weren't supposed to do this, or, you know, I wasn't brought up with a, having a cheater. My father never cheated on my mother, or, or vice versa. For a lot of you, this is wanting the perfect ceremony, wanting things to work out, wanting the balance the way it's supposed to be. One of your last cards comes up is the Ten of Cups. And with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups can be exciting in a lot of ways. The Ten of Cups talks about being married, maybe, with children. But at the same time, Where the Ten of Cups is concerned, I like the energies that it has referring to paying attention, listening to what someone else has to say, being around family, worrying about marriage, being faithful, having a reunion, being in love, and all this is on the way. But some of you, some of you with the Five of Pentacles, some of you, your last card is about the Five of Pentacles. You're worried about money, or you're worried about your health, you're worried about your stress. Some of you are worried about isolating. Some of you are worried about a financial loss. Some of you, in fact, some of you are conscientious about a situation. It feels like some of you are unsure if the help is really there, or you're not seeing the help that's available to you. For some reason, you're not looking at it the way you should. For some reason, you may feel left out in the cold in a situation. You also could be challenged. You could be challenged right now, not knowing if there is hope, not knowing if somebody will answer, not knowing if things are going to work out. There's a fear here. But it's also not seeing what's right in front of you. Okay, so I have to give you one last card, and that is the chariot. So we know with the chariot itself, somebody's taking action here, either you or your partner. There's going to be dramatic change very quickly. You're going to go on a journey, so to speak. You may use a bike, you may use a train, you may use a plane, you may take your car. You may even walk, some of you. But you're ready to take this journey, you're ready to create action, and you're ready to make something happen. I had to do this reading for you today because I see the energy of wondering why I'm not hearing from them, why they're not responding, why it can't work out, why do I have to wait so long, why is nothing happening? But they too have to take this journey. They too need to apply some action to the situation so that you too can both end up where you need to be. Now some of you are hoping to get very happy, very excited about a situation momentarily like wanting it now yesterday others of you are dealing with somebody who's wanting to have their cake and eat it too they want to live a single life but be with you when they want to for some of you this person wants to be strong and independent make all the decisions and choices but at the same time they don't want to follow the rules they don't want to do what they're supposed to they're not going to it's kind of like say do as i say and not as i do so be careful with this person if you're dealing with this person. But this person has definitely got you in their mind, is definitely thinking about you, is definitely missing something from the past with you. They're definitely wanting to build something up, but afraid that their feet aren't stable yet. Both feet here aren't solid on the ground, not yet. For some of you, this person is being lazy, laying around. For some of you, this person 
is paying attention. They know what's going on, so don't be fooled. So I don't know which one you're dealing with. That's up to you to decide. But this person is coming through very quickly, so be ready for some news.